Hey guys, it's Barb, and today we're going to talk about my five favorite helpful apps for artists. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe so you can see more of my videos. Just a quick note before we get started, I'm not being paid to promote any of these apps in particular. These are just ones that I find helpful. There's obviously a lot of different apps out there, so take time to do your research to make sure you're finding the right one for you. First up, we have an app created exclusively for the Apple App Store called Artie, and it's free. If you haven't heard of this app before and you're a colored pencil artist, you're about to have your mind blown. Well, maybe not, but it's still pretty awesome. This app features a grid function, filters, image overlay, and color matching to three of the most popular colored pencil brands. As you can see on the screen right now, I'm just demoing, you can set it to an outline. This outline you're able to either export to your images folder on your iPhone or you can use AirPrint to send it to your printer and print it out and then use that outline to do your preliminary outline for your drawing. If you prefer to transfer your images using a grid method, this app also has that feature. You can set the amount of grid squares you want to have the thickness of your lines, the opacity of your lines, and even the color of your lines. Another feature this app has is a color matching system that matches to three popular colored pencil brands. So you can see here I'm just sampling a few of the areas of this photo to see what they match to based on Prismacolor Premier. It's giving me a percentage rating that'll let me know how close it'll match to that color, and I also have the option to save those swatches if I want to refer back to it later. If you tend to work with multiple brands of colored pencil in a single image, you can switch midway through if you'd like by just pressing right on where it says the name and the main color and it'll pop up at the bottom there. You can choose which brand you want to select from and then it'll give you the equivalent color in that brand. Here's a quick look at the drawing I did utilizing the outline feature and the color matching options. And now using the compare tool to see how accurate my drawing and colors are. If you're posting images of your artwork online, the Easy Watermark Photo app is a great one to have. You can download this in all three app stores and it's available in a light video and just the regular full photo version, which is what you're seeing here. If you're not sure, you can always try the light version of the app, but for the most part, they're virtually the same. What I like about this app is that you can add a basic text watermark or even if you have a PNG logo, you can customize the text by moving it wherever you want, making it whatever size you want. You can change the color. You can change the opacity of it as well. So it offers a lot of options for customizing so you're not stuck with something that's just very templated that may not always work on all of your images. And again, watermarking, is more of a deterrent than anything because at the end of the day if somebody really wants to steal your image they if they have decent photoshop skills they can probably do that but i like to think of it more as like a bit of a business card that you're leaving on your image in the sense that if somebody decides to share your image and doesn't directly link back to you or credit you at least there's still something on your image that can let people know how to find you since most of my image sharing happens on Instagram, I always do a copyright symbol with my full name and an at my Instagram name so people can find me. Another common type of app that artists usually want is a collage app. My favorite app for this is called Diptych. It's available on iPhone, Android, and Windows. It is a paid for app, but I totally think it's worth the price sometimes to pay for apps. It's always great to obviously get them for free, but in this case, this one offers really great different options. And I have paid for one of the expansions on this as well, but it really allows you to customize your collages in a way that some other apps don't. You can adjust the border widths, you can make your edges rounded, you can add a background color at some point if you'd like to. It just really gives you a lot of options to do different things, and I find that's really helpful and it it makes me feel like I'm getting some variation out of my collages instead of feeling like they're always the same. 
One of my favorite features on this app is the animation feature. I've chosen some random images here to give you a demonstration, but I like that it gives you options. You can adjust the timing and the tiles, and there's still some customization allowed in this, which is great. This app also allows you to do some advanced image editing, which is a really nice addition to all the other features in this app. If you're posting a lot to Instagram, this gives you a way to really give a unique presentation. You can do different things here showing your process and it allows you again to do that in a different and unique way. If basic squares and rectangles aren't your style, this app also has collage options of different shapes and different patterns and if you use your creativity you can really come up with some unique and fun solutions to show your images or even patterns or whatever you choose to do with it really but it's nice to have that feature on this app for a little extra added variety. Next up is Photoshop Express by Adobe. It's available on all platforms and it's free Although you do have to sign up for an Adobe ID, if you have a Creative Cloud subscription, you can just use that to sign in. I'm featuring this app as a photo editing app favorite, but this app does a lot more than just edit your photos. It also has a watermarking feature and there's different collage features as well. But primarily, I think this one works great as an image editing app. Now, usually when people hear Photoshop, if they don't have experience with it, it probably makes you a little bit nervous, but this app isn't the traditional version of Photoshop, although it does allow you to send your images to Photoshop if you have a Creative Cloud subscription. You can link the two, um, the app and the desktop version, and you can send an image to your Photoshop on your desktop and continue working on it there if you'd like. However, that's not necessary to get the most out of this app. That's literally one function and the rest of it actually is pretty cool. You can do text overlays. Here it's giving you the option to resize an image for any of your social channels. Um, you can also do some really creative um, skewing of your images if you want. And again, this isn't necessarily something you'd use specifically for Instagram. Where I think this is useful for artists is also particularly in if you're trying to choose an image and you want to do some editing to it, either it be the contrast or you want to change the color in it. This is a great app for that. It allows you to do it really quickly. So if you don't have any advanced Photoshop skills, you don't need them to operate this app and to kind of get something out of it. I don't particularly love the text feature in this app, which is why I'm not necessarily recommending it for watermarking, although you can certainly use it for that. It has that function. I think this app does a lot of the collage and photo editing options a lot better than most. And again, with the integration to Photoshop directly, if that's something that you already have access to, it's really a seamless transition. It allows you to edit images on the go potentially, and then come back to your desktop and work on them there. So it just gives you a lot of different options. And again, advanced color editing and that sort of thing. And just, there's some different filters on here as well that aren't available on some of the other apps or tend to look very much the same. If you wanted to pick one app that had a lot of functions, this is a great one to choose. And again, with the integration with Photoshop, it makes it a really valuable tool and it's a great starting point. And again, it's very user friendly. So don't let the fact that it says Photoshop scare you in any way. You can also export directly to any of your various social channels if you'd like, which is also a great feature. Video editing on your phone has become so much easier, but can still be a little bit tricky if you don't have the right app. I personally just wanted something that was really basic, had some basic functions, and would watermark my videos. For that reason, I like Watermark Video Square. This app unfortunately appears to only be available on iPhone, but there's undoubtedly equivalent versions for Windows and for Android as well. What I like about this app is that it doesn't have any extra functions, which may sound a little strange, but honestly, usually I'm using it for Instagram and I just want to watermark the video and move on with my life. I don't, uh, 
I don't need it to necessarily do anything super complex. What's nice about this app is it does let you customize the type a little bit more than some do. Usually when you're watermarking, it's not allowing you to adjust any of your letting or your tracking. If you have any kind of graphic design background like I do, it can be really frustrating not being able to adjust your typography the way you want it to. So I really enjoy having that feature on this app. You can also turn the sound on and off on this as well. So it has kind of the features that for me personally are important. I don't tend to add music tracks to my videos for Instagram. So for me, I'm most likely just going to be turning it off. And so it's nice to just be able to do that right in this app. Again, if you're looking for some more advanced video editing, you're best off trying a different app or in my case, if I want to do anything advanced, I just do it on my desktop. But this is a really great app if you just want to get down to business and watermark your video and be able to post it. I do have an upgrade version on this where I believe it removes the app watermark from the video, which is kind of ironic. but. Um, it was worth it again just to pay the little extra price just to have an app that's simple and to the point for my needs. All right, so those are five of my favorite apps. Again, there's many, many apps out there that are great. This at least can give you a bit of a starting point if you're not sure what apps to download or where to start. They're ones that I find work really well for me in my art practice. And again, you just have to do a little bit of research to find out what works for you. And in some cases, if you're not on an iPhone, you may have to try and find one that's compatible with whatever version of phone you're on. But definitely finding the right app can help make your life a lot easier. So it's worth checking some of them out and seeing what works for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. You can find me on all of my social channels at Barb Sodi Art or on Patreon. I'll see you guys next time.